The first 11 chapters of Paul's letter to the Romans are kind of laying out the theological foundation for Paul's beliefs, for our Christian beliefs. And in chapter 3, uh, you can basically sum it up in three words. All are guilty. <laughs> that, is, that is Paul's point in chapter 3. That, and our verse for the day says it very clearly. Since all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. That's all of us. That's you. That's me. That's Mother Teresa. That's every single person you can think of. We've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Now, to sin uh, means to miss the mark. Uh, think of an archer firing, firing an arrow at a bullseye and missing the target completely, <laughs> or missing certainly the bullseye. Uh, that's the image of what it means to sin. It's to miss the mark, to miss the target that God intends for us to hit with our lives. And in chapter 3, that verse comes in the context of a paragraph about true righteousness. And Paul's argument is that our righteousness does not come from ourselves. Uh, there's nothing you can do uh, on your own, nothing I can do, uh, to be righteous before God. Because we're sinful, fallen, broken, imperfect human beings. All of us. And later in that same paragraph, Paul will go on to write, that we are justified by his grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. And so Paul uh, is not trying to make you feel guilty so much by saying that all are guilty. He's trying to make you understand you can give up the impossible task of trying to be perfect, trying to act like you're perfect, that you have everything in your life together because we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, and God has made a way for us. He has justified us by his grace through the redemption we have in Christ Jesus as a gift. Uh, and that's Paul's argument, that God put forward Jesus as a sacrifice of atonement by his blood, effective through faith. And so, you know, sometimes I've, I've had people say to me, especially towards the end of their lives, you know, I hope I've been good enough uh, to get to heaven, or I hope I've done enough good uh, for God to love me or to accept me. And part of Paul's argument that we'll see throughout Romans is uh, those are actually the wrong ways of looking at life. Uh, we don't earn our way to heaven. We don't earn our way to salvation. We don't need to earn God's love because God loves us already. And we don't have to focus so much on being good enough or being perfect because our salvation, our justification, as I'll talk more about tomorrow, comes through the gift that God has given us in Christ Jesus. So if you're feeling stressed or pressured about, am I good enough to go to heaven? The good news is, you're not. <laughs> and the gift of God's grace is available to you in Jesus. And in Jesus, we all are.